Welcome back. You're watching Scott and BR Plus Amber. And with the cold weather swooping in, it's hard to think about the hundreds of homeless people who don't have a place to go. We're joined today with the local nonprofit Embrace the Streets. They plan to deliver blankets, clothing, and food to hundreds of homeless people this weekend. Good morning, you guys. Morning. So it's Sean, Jamil, right? I love that name, by the way. Very unique. And Sean. Yes. So Sean and Sean. Yes. What's up? So are you the founder? of Embrace the Streets? You started it? I'm the founder of the nonprofit organization Embrace, and Embrace the Streets is an annual event that, that we do every year. First week in November, we do a collection, and November 17th this Saturday coming up is when we hand everything out. Nice. What made you start something like this? You know, I, I, I kind of looked at stand down with the with with the veterans and you know we're out in the street every week several days a week providing food clothing and blankets to homeless veterans and homeless civilians and i just figured we should do something annually right. to get college students involved in right. serving the community was it i just have to remember because i'm thinking when i was a college student on a saturday right is when it takes place hard to get me out there where do you find because you guys are you guys are college students right yes what what brought you to this and what makes you want to be a part of something like this um, well, I always follow Gandhi's quote, be the change you want to see in the world. So even though Embrace, where we just help just homeless San Diegans, even though it's just one part of the world, it really does make a big difference. Right. And what school do you go to? We both go to San Diego State University. Okay. Nice. And yourself? Um, you know, me and the guys I volunteer with, we're, we're really, we really saw a good luck opportunity to give back to veterans, and um, this was a great vehicle to do that. Definitely, so. I agree. So good for you guys being college students. I remember on a Saturday, I'd be hungover. So I'm very, <laughs> very inspired by the fact that you're going to do this. Now, this is next Saturday. It's this Saturday coming up, and they're not getting up that early. So if that's they right, are hungover, that's hey, that's early for college students. You <laughs> that's know right. That. <laughs> right. Yeah, we don't get, we don't have to get up too early. Right. So anybody who would want to participate and join and be a part of this great event, where would they go? They can go to embrace1.org, that's embrace the number one dot or, o -R -G, okay. and click on contact. They can give us a phone call or drop us an email and we can, we can take whatever donations that they have. Perfect. I was just going to say some people might not have, um, might be busy on Saturday. So can anybody just drop off? Like what are you guys looking for? What kind of stuff? Blankets, okay. mostly blankets. Uh, okay. Clothing, anything warm uh, that you know the temperature has dropped. Uh, we have some great food sponsors. The San Diego Food Bank sponsors us every year. This is our fourth year in a row doing this, right. so we're just primarily looking for blankets and clothing. Right. Yeah. And how do you guys get like college students to? How do you rally your friends? Oh well, this past week we've actually been tabling at SDSU. We've been handing out flyers and we've had big bins with labeled blankets and clothing, we're just encouraging everyone in the community at the university to to just drop off any donations they can. Good, good for you guys. You're getting a lot of response? Oh yes, yeah? definitely. Good. Definitely. Well good. Well some students are like, hey I don't want to do it. I have tons of stuff that I probably donate. I remember having a lot of stuff in yeah. college, you know, like ah, I need all these blankets. So it's good. Yeah. I like it guys. Yeah. And then anything else you guys got going on next Saturday, twelve to two. This Saturday coming up 12 to 2, and as a matter of fact, next month we're restoring our fifth veterans home. We have a program called Healing Our Heroes Homes, where we restore the homes of disabled veteran homeowners, and that's coming up as well, and we get the college students involved in doing that too. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, get those college students involved. Yeah. That's right. Well, guys, thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. You guys can always check out more information about Embrace the Streets event. Visit embraceone.org. Scotty? Yes. Uh, come on over this way for a second. Now, this is this is not the first time we've met this gentleman sitting next to you. No, it's not. Sean no. has been here before, right? Yes. Yep. Yeah, and you guys do amazing work. And if there's any way what we could do is maybe we could um, maybe we could bring all the stuff here to the UT. Maybe we could put out an email all around the UT building and have people who have blankets and sweatshirts and shoes and socks and things like that. That'd be great. Thanks so much. Come grab. Would that be good? That would be perfect. All right, man. Hey, you do great work. Thanks, brother. Appreciate Thank you. It. Thank you. See you.